Allah has prescribed. These things will add strength to your heart, will strengthen your heart. Your heart will grow, will prosper and will be immune against diseases. The second secret or the second procedure we said is to get rid of everything harmful that is in the body. When we talk about the physical health, we, are, we say that the body sweats and it releases these uh, harmful elements, some of the minerals, some liquids, other substances through urine and through uh, you know, defecating and answering the call of nature, obviously we, the body is getting rid of the harmful elements. Also with the heart, what matches this procedure with the heart is when we seek forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we repent to Allah, when you make tawbah, the harmful elements in the heart are taken away. You are cleansing your heart. So the, its own strength will be reinforced. This is the second secret. The third secret when we talk about the body, we say that we have to you have to protect your body from anything harmful going in, like poison or any other harmful substance. The same applies to the heart. Any sin you fall in, any innovation you commit or you hold on to, you hold on to will harm your body, will, weak, will harm your heart, will weaken your heart. So this is how we take good care of our hearts and in the legislations of Islam there's a beautiful kind of match where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also because we find the, the the keys or the clues to these three procedures there in the Quran for example let's talk about maintaining the uh, natural force of the body Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at times of traveling or times of illness Allah directs the fasting person to maintain the natural strength. So He gave, Allah gave the fasting person the permission to break the fast and then make, make, make this day up later on. Why? Because fasting, if the body is suffering from illness, fasting will affect negatively the natural force of the body. So here Allah says, maintain your natural, natural strength of your body so you can fight against this disease or this weakness. The second procedure we said is to get rid of the bad things and the uh, harmful elements in the body. Also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directed the person who's making pilgrimage, Allah said that you shouldn't shave your hair during the state of ihram. But Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah, if one of you is suffering from an illness or due to some reason he needs to shave his hair, then you can do that. Why? Because this is something harmful, you get rid of it. So this is the second procedure. The third procedure is where uh, a person wants to make wudu or makes, wants to make ghusl, ablution, full ablution, tahara. And the only type of water you have, for example, in a cold weather you have cold water. You have only cold water. You are allowed to make tayammum, dry ablution, if you can't use the, or if the cold water will harm your body or will affect you negatively. So this is the third procedure which is to keep away from the body or the heart the harmful elements. So we see the three secrets to successful medicine are there in the Quran. We can apply them to the body and we can apply them to the heart. Something very beautiful about having a sound and a healthy heart. You know when a person is physically fit and the natural strength of the body is a very, in a very good state these people generally have a better immunity against diseases. So even if there is a virus or a bug around, these people are less prone, are less likely to fall ill than people who are weaker than them. You know, people who really are uh, very careful about their diet, they only, eat, they only eat healthy food. These people are more immune to diseases. This is why you mainly find them in very good health. But people who don't really pay enough attention to their diet and they eat, you know, junk food and, you know, unhealthy food, these people fall in illnesses. They, they become ill more, more often than other people. Why? Because they uh, actually have breached at least one of the three procedures 
we mentioned. Likewise with the heart, a person who has a very healthy heart, a person who is away from innovations, a person who is away from sin, and he looks after his heart, when a fitna comes, when a trial comes, a trial of sin or innovation, this person is more likely to have immunity against it. You find such people of Ahl Sunnah are more powerful against the desires. They don't easily fall into sin or fall into innovation. Why? Because they are healthy. But when a person doesn't really look after his heart very well and they suffer from weaknesses, so they are more, they always, most of the time they fall in sin, they fall in innovation. When a new trial comes, whether it's sin or, or innovation, they are more likely to fall into it. Why? Because they, they, are, they have less immunity, they haven't looked after their hearts. This is a secret that we should pay attention to. And inshallah in future ep episodes, we'll try to shed more light on such beautiful secrets that we can learn about our hearts. So hopefully we will be able to look after this piece of flesh that plays such a phenomenal role in the life of human beings. Until we meet next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.